tell you a story of another Muslim women mathematician and this time I'm going to tell you a story of a Tunisian mathematician, Muslim mathematician, um, a Muslim female mathematician. Uh, when people have misconception, you know what, every time I, um, I tell people that, hey, I'm going to tell you a uh, Muslim women uh, Tunisian mathematician, they often think that I'm going to tell them uh, the story of Fatma al-Fihri, the, the women who founded uh, the Walfas University uh, in the year of 19. 940 940 the world oldest university okay now today i'm going to not uh, i'm going to i'm going to not talk about the fatima alfiri i'm going to talk about another tunisian mathematician and that is that is fatma fatma muala fatma muala uh, is she's still alive she is the, the 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 women who muslim women of course um receive phd in mathematics first tunisian muslim women uh, who receive uh, receive PhD in mathematics? A big deal, a big deal. So she was born in 1939. She's famous for her contribution in Finsler geometry. But before I'm going to talk about her contribution in Finsler geometry, I'm going to really have to tell you uh, how she ended up become the first Muslim woman who ever earned PhD, uh, first Muslim woman Tunisian who ever earned PhD in mathematics from France. Okay, now. Uh, she was born, as I said, 1939 in Tunisia. Like Fatma Firi, there are some similarly. Fatma Firi's father uh, moved from Tunisia to Morocco, right, to start a business. And her father, Muhammad al Muala, also moved from uh, Circus to, uh, to Tunis to start a business. And um, he started a um, uh, uh, bookstore. And she had six siblings. And they uh, uh, Moala used to, Fatma, let's call her Fatma, Fatma used to uh, go to the bookstore, non-business hour with her siblings, and they, uh, they used to be reading all the books they find. Uh, so that's how she fell in love with education, especially reading. But she fell in love with mathematics when she enrolled at, um, at college. She, uh, uh, she graduated from uh, she got graduated in mathematics from Tunisia in the year 19, uh, 1960. 1961, she received aggregate award. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a very prestigious France award. Uh, and she eventually moved to France uh, to receive higher education in mathematics. In fact, in 1965, she received PhD in mathematics. Um, uh, for her research in Finsler geometry. So what is Finsler geometry? When we talk about Finsler geometry, we talk about geometry and math. Uh, especially we talk about Einstein theory of relativity and of course Maxwell electricity and magnetism. You can use you can use Finsler geometry. You know, uh, when we talk about geometry, we often talk about Euclidean geometry and Riemannian geometry. Euclidean geometry talks about the plane geometry. Riemannian geometry talks about the curve geometry. So. Uh, 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 so um, Einstein himself used the Riemannian geometry, used the Riemannian geometry to derive the field equation. That is the formula for uh, field equation, and that is the formula for gravity. You um, uh, 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 formula for gravity. Now, um, uh, using the Finsler geometry, you can uh, uh, the people are trying to people are trying to get the same formula. People are trying to get the uh, same formula using not Riemannian geometry, using the Finsler geometry. Big deal. Uh, uh, still people are working on it, but um, people already successfully derived, derived Maxwell equation using Finsler geometry, putting together the electricity and magnetism that, you know, electricity and magnetism are the both end of the same coin, and people have been, uh, have been doing it for years, and in fact, uh, Fatma Moala is the pioneer of this Finsler geometry, a big deal, a big deal for women that came from, that came from Tunisia. Um, so she was not only minority, but she was uh, also uh, also a woman, double jeopardy, double jeopardy. So she was uh, able to overcome this double jeopardy. That's why people around the world celebrate her legacy. You know, in fact, there is a Fatma, Fatma, Fatma Moala International Award to kind of inspire women to pursue their career in math and science.